So a first time for me today, I actually got to make over a room for somebody else. This is my parents' guest room. It's actually the room that I grew up in. My Jesse McCartney posters caused the paint chips on the door. My dad redid this room right after I moved out for college, but it's been a minute and it needed a little love. Yeah. For this room, I really wanted to start with a completely clean slate, so I cleared everything out of the room. The whole idea for this room started with my parents looking for a new mattress and I thought, you know what, I think that's something that I could help them with. They truly both deserve so much and this is just a little way that I can give back to them. I'm so excited they let me take this on. This is not a good sign for this project. I broke the mirror. I was really into movies and TV and Hollywood when I was in high school and we read in my room to be like a Hollywood theme and we put this up for my ideas, like my videos I was going to make, planning them out. Ironically, here I am making videos. I remember the day we put this up and I remember saying, I don't want to be there when this has to come down. Look at me now, I'm the one taking it down like 10 years later. Um, more than 10 years later. That's off the wall. Almost everything's off the wall. My next plan of action is just to take the curtains down, get the big pieces out of here, and then start cleaning the floor. There's some good stains on the floor, just random stuff. It's pretty old carpet. I'm pretty sure my parents are gonna replace it eventually, but for now, I wanna give it the deepest clean that I can. Before we get into that super satisfying clean, I wanted to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, Decinio. They're the reason that I was able to make this bedroom happen. Decinio offers trendy prints, frames, posters, and wall art for any style, and I really mean that. You'll see several of their prints around our home. I've been ordering for them for a couple of years now, and what I love is that you can switch them out. So we keep the frames, we swap out the prints whenever we're feeling like we want to change the room up a little bit. So it's a subtle change, but it makes the room feel completely different. Like I I said Decenio has something for every style and they ship to countries worldwide including the US and that is within five days. What I love about them is that their shipping has always been so quick and I'm able to get these projects done. Another great thing about their website if you look around they actually have something called gallery walls where you can get some inspiration and that is what I did to find my prints for this room. Another helpful tip is to search by categories to help narrow down what you're looking for. I always get overwhelmed because they have so many good prints. Searching through these helped me figure out what would work best in this room. How good. This is my absolute favorite. How pretty is that? Kind of neutrals, but also a little bit of color. Quality paper, I love this. Look how cute that is. To be in our dining room, but I thought this will probably work in this room. And this is another one. I don't know if I'm gonna use it in here or potentially in our dining room, but I love this print. So I brought over a frame for that. And these are beautiful. I am in love with this light wood in this room. Awesome news is they gave me an exclusive code to share with you guys. Nunez25 will get you 25% off of their prints. That doesn't apply to the frames and the handpicks slash personalized prints. Everything else you can get 25% off of. And that is valid from today until September 17th. If you're catching this video a little late, they're actually really kind and they're going to offer the discount again to you guys from the 22nd until the 24th. So now is the time to check out Decinio. That's Nunez25 for 25% off and I will have a link down in the description. now it is understandably dusty in here just the under the bed and stuff like that i'm going to take this duster to all the walls to knock everything down since we're going to be painting on there vacuum cleaner probably vacuum just a reminder if you haven't already to like this video so i can keep making videos like this and if you're new what's up i'd love to have you hit subscribe and make a lot of cleaning videos and diy videos just like this
make it look like nothing happened at all. I'm not sure the plan for this dresser yet, so for right now I'm gonna leave them in here. Uh, I got a lot more done quicker than I thought I would, so the next step for me is to run back to my house and get the carpet cleaner. But just taking everything out of the room, moving the dresser away from the windows, makes me get a feel for this room so much more. It's also taking me back to when we moved into this house, which was slow. Oh my gosh, I was in second grade. I'll look at the headboard in here and just get an idea of the flow. Another reminder, if you see anything in this video that you're curious about, I will link it all down in the description. This is my very favorite carpet cleaner. We use it for all of our pet stains. It's getting some of these very old carpet stains out of here. I was super surprised. spot clean some areas later tonight I forgot that solution at home but it already looks so much fresher and cleaner in here real quick I'm gonna patch up some holes in the wall next up is just the painting to test out the paint color in this room but I quickly decided I loved it. I went ahead and covered every wall. This is actually a color I used in our bathroom. It's called Greek Villa by Sherwin Williams. It is the perfect shade of just slightly off white. Not a cool tone white. Probably if it leaned one way it would be warm. But I love this. It was almost the exact same color of the trim. So I went ahead and painted the current trim and all the window sills in this color. So everything in the room was Greek Villa except for the accent wall. Honest, painting the large walls is when I started to question why I was doing this. It's a pretty big room if you can't tell. And yes, I could have attached a pole to the roller, but that's not what made this difficult. Just taking on such a large room by myself. What's crazy is this wasn't the first time that I've painted this room and I was having like flashbacks to my childhood as I was going through here listening to Taylor Swift. One wall down, three walls to go. Two more in this color, one in a different color, and then one, two, three more coats of this color, and then one more of the other color. I'm regretting my decision. Just like that, I've got three walls with one coat. My arm's gonna fall off. My dad jumped in to help me on accent wall day and I'm really glad he did. It made the wall go a lot quicker. Honestly, I have a blast anytime my dad and I get to work together on something. It's what we did growing up. He's the person that taught me how to use some tools. Probably what sparked my love for DIY the most. I just have so many memories of laughing and trying to figure out how to build things with my dad. We didn't always do it the right way, but we got it done and I've come a long way. So I really loved being able to work on this with my dad. Also, yes, I am getting over a little cold here. My voice is not usually the sexy version of Smelly Cat, but this is what we've got today. There's a lot 
of different ways to do these board and batten walls. You can see we started by going around the outside and framing it in, then measuring out the vertical pieces. We went ahead and measured all of the horizontals and took them downstairs to cut them all at once. And it was at this point that I realized I forgot my small level at home, so we took a break for dinner and I came back to finish it later that night. It's later at night now. I am going to go ahead and put up the rest of these pieces. We actually measured everything at once, as you saw, and we cut them all at once. I think only one of them is pretty messed up. Try to get everything sanded and caulked up so that we can finish painting tomorrow. All right, guys, that was a lot of caulk and a lot of spackle, but I think it's going to be worth it. Everything's going to look really sharp in the end. I'm calling it a night. It's almost 11 now. Good morning guys, new day of this project. Don't even know what day I would tell you. Last night I made this little table right here. Looks like the top dried really nicely, but I decided I'm gonna spray paint the legs black so it kind of has like a metal effect. I really like this top wood. I am hoping it looks good with the frames that I have picked out for the room. I did it. I painted this entire room white and green. <gasps> Okay, finally finished all of the walls and everything in the room. Look how stinking good that looks against the green wall. How crisp is that line? I'm just gonna sit here and stare at the corner, no big deal. This was a bed frame that we found off of Amazon. One of the things my dad wanted was a pretty high bed. So this is 18 inches high. And for the headboard, I actually found one at this salvage shop near us and I got it for $30, such a steal. I actually didn't get to it in this video, but we end up adding legs to it so that it's a little bit higher up than you see at the end. I know the rug is probably supposed to go this way, but I really like the weight of it and the room. Oh, so good. The mattress that started it all. This was completely in if you give a mouse a cookie situation, but I'm really glad that my sister and her husband have a nice place to stay whenever they come and all of my parents' future guests. Can you get out of it? <laughs> Unlike the other one, it doesn't swallow you alive. I've been searching for side tables for the longest time now. I haven't found what I like. I remember these were in the room as they ended up being the perfect height that I need. So what I'm gonna do is just take these tops off, change the yellow out, probably leave this like lighter wood tone and then kind of make them look new again. Again in this room, I tried out the wall sconce hack that I showed in my living room video. If you want to hang a wall light on your wall but you don't have the ability or don't want to hardwire it, all you have to do is get one of those puck lights and you can either hot glue it or command strip it into the bottom. I'll link the pack that I got on Amazon. They come with a remote so you can turn them on and off really easily. In case it wasn't clear, this box has a chair in it, but I have to put together that chair. <laughs> If you are curious about this chair, I will link my living room makeover down below. This is from the exact same company that we got our couch. It's called Home Reserve. I talked all about it in that video. They're really cool. They actually have storage inside of the chair. It goes together like a puzzle, but yes, you do have to assemble it all. I spent several late nights here working on this room. I'd love it if you guys could comment down below and guess what I am watching on my phone. <laughs> Best day of the video, today is styling day. My dad went a little bit rogue and bought several options for the room, which is actually really helpful because now I know he likes what he got. I just get to choose from it.
one of the most important things I can recommend to you is to raise your curtains up high to the ceiling, as high as you can take them. It will make your window feel so much bigger. I took these windows higher and wider and made the ceiling feel taller. It's amazing how much of a difference it can make. With the decor in this room, I really wanted to keep it as simple and as minimal as I could. I wanted to leave space for my parents to add in any of their own things or personal touches they wanted to do. So we kept it to just like plants and a couple little baskets. Okay, what? How gorgeous is this mirror that we found at Home Goods? I'm so sad that I can't link it for you guys, but it made the whole room for me. It was my favorite part. Beautiful did this room turn out. I am so happy with this one. It might be my favorite makeover that I've done. I am so happy that my parents have this relaxing and peaceful place for their guests and if they want to go in and enjoy it, it's so different walking in there. It's so much brighter. Like I said, the ceilings look taller. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your very favorite part of this room was. And again, all of my links will be down in the description as well as my discount for Decinio. Please like this video. It helps my channel out so much. If you are new, hit subscribe. I will see you guys soon for another motivating clean. Thank you so much for watching and as always, happy cleaning.